So today I'm going to vent. I'm going to post this on YouTube. I haven't been posting videos on YouTube lately. They've changed their... some sort of thing they've changed. Uh, I don't know what it is. Some YouTube one or something you have to pay or something like that. I don't know what. But um, I'm posting this video on YouTube because I'm going to see how much spam I get. And the spam I get is a specially crafted spam. It's sort of on the abusive side. It's kind of harassing type of side. Um, I think the, the people that are writing the spam know who I am. Um, they know I work at a school. I suspect, uh, I've seen this type of spam before. It usually comes from uh, middle school boys. Um, and it's not really uh, worth my time to sort of chase after these middle school boys. Um, they probably see me in my school, around school, and uh, I'm a very chill type of person. The only place I'm probably more outgoing is on the internet, so like now. Mm -hmm. um, I've made uh, crazy videos out there, like the Numa Numa video, and uh, that's, you see the crazy side of me. But in the real world, I'm kind of chill. I'm a chill, calm type of person. And um, so I've got the Vimeo account, and I've got a YouTube account. Vimeo, I don't get any spam. Uh, YouTube, I get spam all the time. And uh, some of the things people like to call me is they, they like my, um, my shiny forehead. So lots of comments about my shiny forehead. Um, and there's some comments that have been more negative. Um, and when it gets into the more negative side, I'll, I'll report them to YouTube as being uh, harassing kind of stuff. But I try not to take it personally because this is YouTube. YouTube is full of this type of flaming type of spam kind of stuff. But I think uh, the lesson I learned from this is that I think all teachers need to have their own YouTube channel. And they need to experience what it feels like to get spam or harassing type of comments. Um, because our students are going through the same thing and they're going through it. Um, they don't have, you know, I've got, I've been doing this for so long, it doesn't bother me. But for someone who just starts it and they get that type of harassment type of comment, it's difficult to uh, deal with that type of uh, experience. So I think teachers need to create it so they know what that feels like, so they know what their students are going through. Um, and I'm going to post this on YouTube, and I'm going to see, um, well, I'll probably get spam and probably talk about my shiny forehead, which I do need a haircut, and I need to make it a bit more shiny. Um, and uh, it's, the, I think the difficult question is, do I record that and then share it with the world? And I choose not to do that, because then I'm exposing these potential young adults uh, to the wider world. And I'm not going to try to attack or go uh, flaming at them because that's not my role as an educator. Um, it's more of, uh, if I know who the student are, I'll have a conversation or have a conversation with our, our different division heads about this. But it doesn't really bother me. But the big thing I think the big important thing is other teachers need to create these channels and they need to experience what it feels like to get uh, flamed at from anonymous uh, viewers out there. Uh, and I'd say the vast majority is of the comments I get are in the negative realm, not the positive, at least on YouTube. Um, ah, so that's it. Let's see what happens when I post this on YouTube.